Right then, uh, this is this is basically where it all actually happens. So we, we're going to visit the wheel room later on and look at some, basically see the product when it's finished. Looking down through there, this is where most stuff is made, uh, be it sprockets. Um, obviously, talking about some potential new triple clamps. I mean, this machine is worth millions. Um, obviously, it's not just motocross stuff that the guys at Talon make. It's uh, they make road racing parts, uh, varying machinery for other people, such as modern technology. These machines do a lot, but they've all got to be programmed expertly by these guys. And uh, I actually, when I was a kid, I actually did machine uh, train to be an engineer, but didn't want to be destined to be an indoors all my life. The swarf. So the hub of it really, um, down here look, there's some sprockets being made, I don't know what though. I'm not sure if they're even finished, I think they probably end up like that. They start like that and then we end up getting like to a near finished product like that. Not yet, this gentleman's doing his bit. But there we go. Obviously vary and then they get anodized. But varying sprockets, that's basically what Talon built their name on. Here's some of the here's some hubs being made. I'm guessing they're KTM ones by the colour. Green for go. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. How long does it take to program all that to do that? To program it. I'm not, I didn't program it. Oh, right. To run it, it takes about two minutes to do the, uh, both, both hubs. But I'd say a couple, couple hours potentially right. to get that program from yeah. scratch. There you go. So obviously that's the coolant, so the drill bits don't burn up. That's not milk. No. <laughs> Here's a real old school machine. Look at that, didn't buckle once under pressure. Not at all, he can do that with his, can do that with his eyes shut. <laughs> so yeah, just a little kind of guided tour today. And uh, what Talon's all about, really. These are the guys from uh, Madison catching up because Madison are gonna be the uh, UK distributors of all Talon products in motocross, so we've just uh, and we guided tour. We go front sprocket, the knees get hung up in here. Very noisy, obviously. Bloody, bloody noisy. What is that, what is that, what is that doing in there? It's scrambling it, so. As it comes to us, we've got sharp edges. Yeah. We chuck them in there and the stones take off the sharp edges. Right. So all, all these sharp edges there will all go. Got you. And then also when it goes to um, anodizing, you've got a better finish, it hides a few of the scratches so that when the colour's put on it, it looks a lot better. So yeah. Bloody noisy in here, it's like listening to your missus all day, isn't it? <laughs> Right, we're now in uh, the quieter area. This is uh, the packaging and where most of the stuff goes out the door. So a little bit quieter in here, but this is the good bit. Up these stairs, you can see all the guys doing their thing. Up these stairs is the, uh, the bit that most motocross riders will really enjoy, that. The wheel assembly room. This is the, uh, effectively motocross uh, hardware porn for you lot. Here we go. So many uh, top teams wheels are being built in here. See, all different color rims. 
pubs, all nice and clean and quiet. So we go, these are summer orders that are ready to go out the door. So you can work out basically what happens over here. Pubs, the KTM ones there, look at those bad boys. They got all the wheel spacers, varying bits. Ross, uh, Ross Sterney, never heard of her. I've heard of this guy though. Sorry, kill it. <laughs> oh, look, it's just awesome. They're carbon, carbon hub, obviously they do varying hubs. So here's a key job. This is where he's got to build them and get them nice and straight and in line, no pressure. For, for people like me to come and buckle them. Here's our ones. I say ours, these are Team Green Kawasaki's wheels for 2022, which I'm collecting today. Oh, look at them. We've gone with the, if you can see in there, we've gone with the ultralight. So we're going with the ultralight uh, bronze tubs. We've got the blue over there. Obviously Talon as well, down the years, have not just uh, sponsored and supported UK riders. In AMA Supercross, down the years with uh, Factory Husqvarna and varying other teams. Nicoletti's top. Varying rims as well, you've got the Talon rims, you've got the, uh, the Arc rims. These are some special ones, check this out for the guys at Bravery. They've had the, the Bravery logo etched onto the rim as well. Dan Thornhill, Scuba, loads of top riders have used uh, Talon wheels down the years. What's going on here? Ah, here we go. So this is where the hubs get. Yep. So that obviously all the for the axle goes in, pressed in. Yep. See, that looks simple, doesn't it? And I guaranteed I'd be able to mess it up. So yeah, obviously from where we were earlier on, all the parts come into here, and then the wheels are assembled. Any good business has to run with plenty of whiteboards and spreadsheets. Here's another few, let's look at some of the shirts as well. Oh, I do. <laughs> Over here are the spokes going in on a very, very shiny set of wheels. Very bling. So you're in charge of the spokes and then these wheels go over to over there, do they get lined up? Is that how it works? No, I do it all. Oh, you do it, right, you do it all. Oh, there's two of you doing that. Put okay. them all together. Yeah. Lace it. Um, and then build it. And then build it. Yeah. Okay. So this is your, this is your domain over here. This is my little domain. This is you. Your the work. to make me tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I suffer from that as well. There's nothing wrong with being short. There's Dave Dubs Wells. Been there a very long time. <laughs> Been in the sport a long time. No, Dave was actually my mechanic back in 2000. 22, that's 22 years ago, Dave. I've just worked out. Holy crap. So there we go. That is a little look around Taiwan's wheel building room. Okay, obviously on the way up to the wheel room, I, uh, I filmed these guys from the stairs. Now I'm down into the uh, packing room. Look at this. Multicolored sprockets, loads of them, so many different brands, obviously, and models. 
Let's go up the ladder without falling over. There you go, through there. Rows and rows of talon sprockets. There we go. Gold, it's a Yamaha blue, silver, red. You got it. Some real money's worth in here. It's all the front sprockets being packed up, ready to go out. As we said, a little bit quieter down here for these guys. It's not as noisy as in the factory floor. Clutch baskets as well, remember. Right, uh, here we are in Talon's R&D room. Now, um, look at this. These guys are using a tiny little KTM to develop some new parts that they then roll onto the big bikes. One is this rather awesome swing arm uh, that they worked on and the guys are now working on triple clamps across the board. So what they're doing is they're starting off on the little bike to get the R&D done and then they'll roll this on to uh, the bigger bikes as we go forward. But the principle is there. So new Talon clamps are going to be on the way. You've also got the engine covers, clutch baskets, etc. So there's one of the clamps there. Look, that basically gives you multiple adjustment, as you can see, for a rider's position. Um, over here was existing. That was their first one a long time ago, where they worked with Judd on it. This is quite weighty. Obviously, I can't show that, but that's almost double the weight of this new one with these cross struts in it. So this is the one that's not anodized black. And you get an idea of uh, where they're at. So the guys are really gonna be keen to develop swing arms. Here's the 3D printout of some potential new clamps. Obviously 3D printing is a big thing now. Uh, you have to, everybody uses it virtually. So it's a real interesting stuff. They've got varying bikes that they work on. Even the moped. <laughs> so look out for it. Uh, basically, talon clamps and swing arms and varying other bits are on their way, folks. This is, this is the, the important bit of talon. This is obviously where the money comes raking in. But he gets everywhere, this one. <laughs> He's in the wheel department, whatever. But as I've said, new, new management at Talon. And here they are, the boss men, Steve and Rod. Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. So we've just been round um, doing it. Uh, having a look around at the new products going So, so yeah. new bosses of Talon, but yeah. also kind of, kind of new to the, to the sport of motocross as well. So already we've walked around and seen a lot of the product that you're up to. So you guys are really getting into it, thinking of bringing in more products? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we're more akin to road racing than we are to dirt bikes, but I mean, I've always had dirt bikes all my life, so, uh, although I've never competed, but I, you know, I have a KTM, I've had a KTM since, oh, many, many years. 1876. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, uh, my background is more product, making product for mainly motor gp bikes but this is a new sphere for me so um no we've got some really really exciting things coming in the future it certainly looks it i was just I, you know everybody's now seen it at this point in the video that you yeah, know the you, can start, that... you can start to see some of the products yeah. that we're working on and uh, you know we want to bring products that really are top line have um a, a real technical merit and really high finish real quality components. But also we like to think that they'll add a bit of style to them too. Yeah. I mean, I think it's important that things are genuine functional upgrades, um, but they also have to look cool. Yeah. So oh. we find that important too. Um, uh, but Steve's skill set is obviously very high end road bikes, but it's very transferable. So yeah. it's, um, it's a different application, but the same, same science, if you like, same engineering behind it. Um, but yeah, we're just really excited because uh, we love to make stuff. And, mm. uh, 
we can now really do, well, we can do whatever we want. That's right. So I mean, we're just waiting, if people have got ideas, send them, we'll have a look at it. Yeah. Well, that's good for us as a sport, obviously, pioneering forward thinking. You guys hit the ground running. Obviously, I found out that you went to San Diego Supercross when I was there, so yeah. already jumping straight in the deep end and, yeah. and going straight to AMA Supercross. So, I mean, that must have been an inspirational <laughs> trip regards of seeing how the industry works and, and potential parts that you guys could make. Yeah, I mean, we, we, well, we needed to uh, get out there to understand how it all works and yeah. sort of show our faces and introduce ourselves because um, the American market is very important to Talon and uh, we have a lot of product that's currently being raced and used in, in um, Supercross. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Great show, great to go. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Try and make it an annual trip. I would highly advise that. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs? <laughs> <laughs> Just put it down as an R&D trip every year. Well, look, I really appreciate you showing me around today. Look, I, obviously, from a standpoint, from Dirt Hub and everybody, we wish you the best of luck with it. And um, it's great that we got a British a manufacturing company you know, I, think, I think that's what it is. We, we really want to fly the, the union flag around the world. Because yeah. we make great stuff in this country, but people don't think we manufacture. Right. We design, we innovate, we're market leaders in research and development in this country. And we just want to bring that to dirt bikes. Yeah. Uh, and we're loving it. So. All for it. We've got our support. Thanks for your time, Thanks guys. Appreciate much. it. Thank Cheers. you.